Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a 3D printed flexible snake using Tinkercad's code blocks. In the end, you'll be able to create something like this. In this first video, I'll be showing you how to make the head of the snake. My second video will cover the body, and my third video will cover the tail. So, let's get right into making the head of the snake. The first thing we'll need to do is go to Tinkercad and we will create a new design. I'm going to create a code blocks design as I stated before. Once everything loads, loads in, I'm going to rename this to Flexi Snake so it's easy to find in the future. Now the first thing that I'll do is I'll create a new shape, a new object, I'm sorry and I'm going to rename this object to snake head so that we don't get confused in the future. The first shape that we'll need is a half sphere. Next, we'll move the half sphere to the Y coordinate of negative five. Next, we'll drag in the round roof and we're going to change its size a little bit as well. We are going to scale it, and we're going to change the Y scaling to 0.5. Next, we'll drag in the create group command. Now that the objects are merged, we'll move them both together up a little bit. In this case, we'll be moving them to the Z coordinate, of five. After this, we'll drag in the scale command as well, and we're going to set the Y scaling to two. So let's check our work so far. This looks good, but I think the little head is a little bit long. So I'm just going to remove a little bit from the end of it. In order to do this, I will go back and I will drag in a box. And this one I will change into a hole from a solid object. The width will remain the same, but the length I'm going to change to 15. I will also move the hole to the Y coordinate of 8.5. And finally, I'll create, drag in the create group command. Let's double check our work again. And our box, which was a hole, cut a little bit off the end of our shape. That looks good to me. The next thing I'll want to do is add some eyes to our snake. In order to do so, I will first drag in one sphere, and I'm going to change the radius of this sphere to three. And I'll move the sphere. X will stay, X will change to five, Y will change to negative eight, and the Z will be seven. Then to make the next eye, I'll drag in another sphere, change the radius to three again. And this one, I am going to move to the other side of the head. So the X coordinate will be negative five. The Y will still be negative eight. And the Z of course remains seven. After this, I'll drag in the create group command to merge them all together. Let's double check our work once again. There's our first eye and our second eye. That looks good. However, we still need something for our head to flex on. In order to do this, we are going to create a joint at the back or a hinge, I should say. So, 
in order to create our hinge, the first thing that we'll need to do is drag in another box. This one, again, we will change into a hole. We're going to change the width to 6, the length to 8, and the height to 8 as well. Then we're going to move our box. The X coordinate will be 0, the Y coordinate will be negative 3, and the Z coordinate will be 2.5. Then we'll drag in the create group command. Now, so we have a hinge that can be rotated on by a link that we'll create in the next object in the body, we will drag in a cylinder. The cylinder will remain solid, but we will change the radius to, to 1.1 to 5. And the height, we will change to 6. I'll hit enter to confirm everything. And next I will rotate this cylinder. I want to rotate by 90 degrees, but I want it to rotate on the Y axis. Finally, I'll move that cylinder. X will be 0 y will be negative 2, and z will be 2.5. The final step will be to create the, to drag in the create group command. So let's check our work one final time. There's our head with the eyes. And there, we have something that we can be able to rotate around later. Now, the final step you'll need to do is to drag in one final move command. We're going to move the Y coordinate to negative 13. And the Z will stay at 0, and the X will stay at 0 as well. This is in order to give us room to work on the next part, the body. Thank you very much. If you enjoyed watching this video, please consider giving it a like and a subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video. We'll be looking at making the next part of the snake, the body segment. Have a great day.